I wanted to get into some game stuff now, and uh, maybe into creating audio assets for video games specifically. And one of the challenges that I know a lot of us guitar players have, although I play keyboards too, but I'm nowhere near as skilled at that instrument as I am on a guitar. Guitar is my main instrument, and it has been. Uh, forever, and uh, I can remember 20 years ago being jealous, green with envy, and jealous as hell that uh, keyboard players could trigger MIDI and get away with bloody murder, while all us guitar players had to be very inventive and use little boxes and pedals and overdubs and double tracking and pretty much every trick in the book to get anywhere even near close to what a keyboard player could accomplish because of their accessibility to MIDI. Even back in 1989, they could play horn shots on a keyboard. Well, in probably 79, I don't know, DX7s came out. Um, kind of changed the landscape for uh, the way music is done in studios and in, uh, you know, film composers have been using it forever. So uh, this time I want to talk about leveling the playing field. So if you're a good guitar player, you know, there's, I have this uh, Godin uh, guitar that I got from the company Godin. And I'd had one before that I'd kind of rigged up myself using a Boss a Roland G20 or whatever. There's many incarnations and versions of MIDI guitars. Um, this one uh, tracks particularly well. None of them are perfect, so there's always a little cleanup to do, but uh, I find th this one serves my purpose quite well. Here I'm going to give a little demonstration of some of the things that are possible. I'll just use a basic string orchestra. I've got six virtual instruments hooked up in Pro Tools, which I'm going to go in there and give you a look at that in a bit and uh, how I've set that up. Um, whatever plugins you want to use for that or virtual instruments, whatever comes in Pro Tools or Logic or whatever you're using is... That's all uh, user selection. Um, the means to get there from a guitar player point of view uh, won't change. Uh, one of the things I like about this, by the way, it's Bluetooth. There's no cable. Uh, so one less thing to go wrong. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to listen to my click track here and try and uh, get something happening with this. That's just a quick little demo for today. We're going to circle back around and dive really deep into how that's done and all the kind of options there is, uh, different styles of music, genres of music, and just what kind of things that can be accomplished using a MIDI guitar. I love this one and I recommend you run right down to the music store and grab one as soon as possible if you're a guitar player and you'd like to do any kind of music for video games. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, leave them directly below here in the comments section. Uh, if you're interested and you'd like to learn more about audio for video games, please subscribe and stay tuned. There's lots more coming on the way. Talk to you soon. Bye.